Praise his glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, um, Yahweh Shai, whom the world stubbornly and ignorantly calls Jesus. His true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Honorable mention to the brothers out there prophesying in truth, sincerity, peace, and blessings to the elect. Uh, just want to do a lesson on um, the goal of a pro the, or the job. So like you, excuse me, the job of a prophet versus just the job of an Israelite. Now, as Israelites, our duty is to fear God. First of all, that's the first commandment. All right. So when you read um, Ecclesiastes, is it a uh, 12 and 9? No, 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God, fear the Most High, and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. What man? The Israelite man. Soon, soon to be the whole world when Yahweh Shai come back and, and elevate Israel in power. The, the, the world will be governed with the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Bible, all right? But when you read Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter, uh, it says, uh, Behold, Deuteronomy 4 and 5, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord, even as Yahweh my God, commanded me, that ye should do, that ye should do so in the land with the ego to possess it. Keep Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. So Moses spoke that to the whole congregation of Israel. So that's the that's the duty when you read Baruch the fourth chapter it says, Happy are we, because the ways pleasing to the most high are made known unto us. Made known unto who? Made known unto the Israelites. So they gotta keep them and do them. And we're supposed to teach them to our children, all right? That's the goal as an Israelite. But a prophet got to do this and more. A prophet has to, uh, let's get Jeremiah 1. This is Jeremiah 1. Let's go, uh, Jeremiah chapter 1. Oh, that gave me a... The wrong. Okay, this is Jeremiah chapter 1. I'm going to start at uh, verse 6. It says, Then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, But Yahweh said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Okay. It says, uh, be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, said the Lord, said Yahweh. Then the Lord, then Yahweh, and, I, and, I, and the reason why I do that is because when the, when, the scripture, uh, when the scripture says, Lord, all caps, it's referencing the Heavenly Father. His, his, his true name, his real name is Yahweh. All right, so it says, then the Lord, then Yahweh put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. Okay? Let me see. Uh, and that's the point. So the prophet's job, got a, a prophet got a, uh, of course, because as, of course, uh, uh, you can't be a hypocrite because when you, uh, when you read Isaiah 58 and 1, it says, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show them uh, the house of Israel their sins. Now, so we got to keep the law. You got guys out here prophesying, ain't even keeping the law. Easy, simple laws. Not getting, you know, I'm not just going to, you know, just not trying to say the law is simple. It's, the law is wise. It's, it's, it's there for us. It's our wisdom, right? So you got guys getting liners. And it's like, come on, bro. We got grace for the, for the things that we can't keep. But yet you going you not even gonna perform what you can, all right? So we we keep the law as if uh, the law of the Bible, 
as every Israelite man and woman should. But on top of that, we have to prophesy. The Lord said, you will, the Lord said, you shall do whatsoever I command thee. I have put my words in your mouth, in, uh, in, in thy mouth. This is Isaiah 58 1. Cry aloud, spare not. And when you go into the word spare, it says to behold, to restrain. We're not holding back. Paul said, I have not shunned to declare you the whole gospel. So we, if, if, if something may be offensive to you, then we, we're not going to neglect it just because of, uh, because of you. We're not going to respect your person. The Lord ain't a respect of a person. He said, cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. And ain't nobody doing that. These, uh, these Christian leaders, these false pastors, they're, they're not doing that, man. Because uh, uh, when you read, uh, uh, what's that, uh, Nahum? Okay, let me see, Is that, that might be Nahum 1 and 4. Uh, uh, Salakia, maybe it's three. Oh, oh, maybe it's Habakkuk. Yeah, let me see. This is Habakkuk, uh, one and four. Matter of fact, I start the top. It says the burden which Habakkuk the prophet did see. Oh Lord, oh oh Yahweh, how long shall I cry? And thou wilt not hear, even cry out unto thee of violence, and thou wilt not save. These, these false pastors in, in these Christian churches, they ain't crying to the Lord to be saved. You got people dying, to pass, someone, someone to die, a man to be 80, 90 years old, died, okay? And at the funeral, the, the, the pastors say, oh, it, 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 it wasn't his time to go. It wasn't his time to leave here. First of all, the issue of life and death belong to the Lord. So if, 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 if the Lord made him die or took him at, 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 from a stillborn to 110, it was his time. But they say that because they're not through with this world. They don't, they don't cry aloud or spare not. They're they not, they not grieved with the iniquities. I'm going to keep reading. It says... Uh, why doest thou show me iniquity and cause me to behold grievance? For spoiling and violence are before me, and there are that raise up strife and contention. And ain't nobody doing that but the men of the Lord, starting with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone on down, crying of the iniquity, getting vexed, uh, women ruling over men, faggots walking about. All the, 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 uh, the way of the world through the so-called white man, which is the Edomite, the, the agenda he's been pushing on our people, on, on civilization, ain't nobody upset with it. Nobody mad. Verse 4 says, Therefore the law is slacked, and judgment doeth never go forth. For the wicked do a compass about the righteous, therefore wrong judgment proceeded. And anything the so-called white man uh, says, okay, you, you, you Christian, y'all right behind it. Y'all right behind it. You got these churches got something on their uh, banners on their on their churches that say L L L B G T Q friendly. Oh, we're L, we're all, we're all inclusive church. But that's 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 slack judgment. Does uh the scripture say, "Isn't it unto you to know judgment?" Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh. Uh, uh, what is that? See, they be tweaking on that word judgment. You got to take the E out in the, uh, in the my sword. Uh, Yep, yep, this is Micah. This is Micah 3 and 1. It says, And I said, Hear, I pray ye, O heads of Jacob, and ye princes of the house of Israel. Is it not for you to know judgment? So, uh, uh, you pastors, you're supposed to be elders, right? People look up to you. You're in the leadership position. Okay? You're supposed to know judgment. 
And that's and, and that's because uh, a pastor or a preacher, the word is, uh, is it's synonymous with prophet. Preacher, prophet, same thing. It's synonymous. So the goal, the, uh, the duty of a prophet, uh, first of all, a prophet got to know judgment. First of all, how do you how do you know judgment? Proverbs, the first chapter. It says what? The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instructions, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment and equity, to give subtility to the simple, to the young man knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. A man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. To understand the proverb and the interpretation and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. And you're going to get that out of this book. So you got to look to the Bible for, for proper judging, not to your heart and how you feel. Because the Lord don't care how you feel. Okay? Uh, what is that? Uh, 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 oh, yeah. And ain't nobody doing this. And, and these pastors ain't doing this. You ask them a question. Oh, well, son, we'll know when we get there. You ask them to prove something. Uh, they, they, they might try to make it seem like you wicked uh, One of the brothers was telling me They used to ask questions in church And they said oh, you, you, you sound like the wicked Pharisees But the scripture says what it's, uh, Proverbs I, I can't it's, uh, uh, Somewhere like Proverbs I'm, I'm paraphrasing this so I can find it uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Proverbs. Is that 15? I think I was thinking 16. Proverbs 15 and 28. It says, The heart of the righteous studieth to answer, but the mouth shall like you. It says, But the mouth of the wicked poureth out evil things. And that's what these pastors and preachers doing. Geno Jennings. Talking about some apostle Geno genius. You pour out wicked things telling people that they can eat pork. The Lord said we cannot, uh, the, uh, in Leviticus, in the law, in the law, he said that uh, 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 the swine was an unclean animal. You shall not eat of his flesh or touch it. But then, uh, then, 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 you, then, you, then you Christians, then you'll say, so then we say, but, but God don't change, right? You, you will say that out. You will say that. You will say God don't change. But then... You you then you say pork is now clean. So that just that clearly mean he changed. That mean that if what you what you saying is that at one point in time pork was unclean. The swine was unclean. So now it's clean. But if it's clean, why do you why do why is it killing you so-called Negroes, man? And Latinos and Native Americans. Because y'all eat it too. All the children of Israel, man. Why is it killing y'all? Anyway, but that's the job. That's the job of a prophet. You gotta, you know, you gotta, you know, you gotta teach. You gotta study the answer and teach. You can't leave nobody hanging out there with a question, and you can't say what's something not if you don't know what it is. You can't. Oh, it ain't talking about that. Well, what is it talking about? I don't know. You can't do that. That's retarded. This is uh. Uh, uh, Ezekiel 33 It says uh, Again the word of the Lord came unto me saying Son of man speak to the children of thy people And say unto them When I bring the sword upon the land If the people of the land take a man of their coast And set him for their watchmen And that's what you people did man Because the prophets is supposed to be watchmen but y'all neglect y'all neglect the real man. Y'all set up y'all set up false prophets. Y'all 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 pick y'all pick y'all leaders and teachers and preachers based off how y'all feel. The truth is 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 irrelevant to you. It's all about theatrics. Oh, pa Pastor So did preach. What uh, uh, what he what he talk about? Oh he oh he uh he talked about Romans. Oh what you learn? You ain't learned nothing. Just because he opened the book and misquoted one of Paul's sayings, that don't mean he up there teaching y'all, man. 
But y'all picking, y'all picking y'all watchmen off, y'all of y'all for y'all. Okay? It says, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take it not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. And we the only ones warning the people that the sword coming on the land, that the so-called white man having great wrath is going to come down upon you Israelites, which he already doing, but it's going to be, uh, the, the level the level is going to be greater magnified, man. It says, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take it not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. All right, so it's your fault. Hey, the house on fire, nigga. Man, no, it ain't. I right, I right, bye. So when, so when you burn up or, or die from smoke inhalation, whatever, it's your fault. You were warned. It says, uh, he heard the sound of the trumpet. You hear, you hear our words. You heard what we told you. It says, and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, and and do people and these and these uh these uh like the elder uh Yashawamba says uh these beautiful buildings of uh failure, beautiful monuments of failure. That's what these churches is. Hood, right? Hood got your hood about about a ten block a ten block radius, potholes everywhere. Trash in people's yards, but it's a thousand churches though. Ain't nowhere to get nothing to eat. You got to go out of town to get your car. You got to go to another city to get your car fixed. Another city to go get something to eat. But it's a couple churches on every block. Man, get out of here, man. It says, verse 6, But if the watchmen see the sword, come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned. If the sword come and take any person from among them, he is he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. So these false prophets, that hey, uh, these false prophets, man, gonna get it. Cause the Lord, the Lord, verse seven says, So thou, O son of man, I have set thee, O watchman, unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth. And warned them from me. And that's our job, man. And the apostles and elders of, of, of Great Millstone on down and the men on down is executing that, man. That's the office the Lord put put certain Israelites in. Uh when you uh uh Ecclesiastes 12 13, it's the, the whole duty of every man is to do the law. But then with within those men, you have something called prophets, where they got an extra set of duties. We're responsible. We're responsible for delivering this word correctly. And that's why this, and those that mishandle and those that, that don't deliver the word correctly, the Lord got a judgment for them. And those, and, 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 and those that do, the Lord got a judgment for them too. But it's just going to be a, a, a benevolent judgment. When you, when you hear words like benevolent, uh, beneficial, Benefit most words that start with Benny that prefix B E N E it means something positive of good. So for the for the for the for the prophets that's doing his word the way he said, teach it and uh, prophesy. Right, he got a he got a benevolent but uh, benevolent judgment for them, a good judgment, a, a excellent perfect reward, and for those that do it falsely and wrongly, he got a malevolent judgment for them. And when and most times we hear word uh, M A L, and the word that prefix means something bad. Even in Spanish, you say bad is 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 malo, or like sick uh, mala, or something like that. I know it's malo, but like words like malfunction, malnutrition, malicious, mal like somebody got a malignant tumor. You know, uh, the Lord got a uh, what's that? Malevolent, yeah, yeah, yeah. He got a malevolent judgment for them, man. And with that, all praises to you. How about Shem Uh Lord willing, this video will be edifying to the hopeful elect if they come across it. Shalom.